I'm Basia Sokoloska and I'm taking you through my creative alphabet. D for drawing is the theme of today's video. Drawing appeared in my art making quite recently. Photography was there first. And uh, the reason for it was that uh, as a child, uh, I wasn't convinced I was very good at drawing. I didn't draw very much to start with and my best school friend was very good at drawing and in our art classes her drawings were very competent and nice and mine were very clumsy and unsuccessful. No one liked them, I didn't like them either so um, I came to the conclusion that I liked the talent and directed my attention to more enjoyable activities. So when the time came in my life when I uh, wanted to make art, photography was the most obvious choice because it didn't require um, drawing or painting skills or talents. Um, and uh, it allowed me to express um, myself and create images that were sort of within me um, with the, within the photographic technique. But drawing eventually found its way into my art practice very surreptitiously. Uh, drawing started to appear in my diaries and then they became bigger and I became more curious. Uh, and then they evolved into um, a, a sort of continuous uh, um, practice, uh, probably more than photography at the moment. Uh, drawings offered me something very different than photography. Uh, photography has uh, always a camera between us and uh, the image. And the camera is an instrument. It's a kind of a foreign body. It's something that has a, a logic of its own, which is a, a co-author of the image. Um, the camera determines uh, the way the image comes out uh, and quite often at the time of taking a photograph we don't really have the control over what it is. Uh, we participated in a very very different way, uh, very I would say external way to the way we participate in, uh, uh, in, making, uh, in the process of making a drawing. Um, drawing has a sense of a dimension of directness and intimacy that, that uh, photography lacks. Uh, when we draw, when we want to make a drawing, all we need is a, a marking tool and, uh, and a, a, a piece of flat surface, then we, uh, we do it on. It can be um, a stick um, on a beach or a piece of chalk on a wall or a, um, a pen um, or a pencil on a piece of paper. It's really, really simple. And when we draw, there is a very direct um, sort of transmission between uh, our eye, our mind and our body and uh, the subject of our uh, drawing. And that's something that uh, is uh, quite important for me, uh, that sense of directness, because uh, it creates a sense of intimacy, which photography because of the sort of presence of a, of a camera uh, doesn't have for me. Um, Henri Cartier-Bresson, famous uh, French photographer and a painter as well, um, defined the difference between photography and drawing very, very well. Uh, he said that photography is a reaction and drawing is a meditation. And uh, I fully subscribe to that, even though it is not always true, because we can take, uh, make a drawing within a few seconds and uh, taking uh, a photograph with a large format camera or a pinhole camera uh, requires time. It's not a reaction. There's much more to it than that. But what Cartier-Bresson was talking about was documentary photography, street photography, snapshots which is uh, the essence of uh, the medium in many ways. Um, what really uh, distinguishes photography from other 
uh, art media, traditional art media such as drawing or painting or sculpture, it's the the speed, the the reaction um, uh, aspect of it that we can actually capture a very very thin slice of time uh, into uh, an image, and the slice of time is uh, so thin that is beyond our ability to register it in real life. That's why when we look at sna snapshots uh, or photographs, um, quite often we are surprised that, that we see things that we didn't see at the time of um, uh, pressing the, the, the shutter, uh, that someone has the closed eyes, someone has closed eyes, or that uh, there is a bird uh, in the frame, um, or something else we didn't see at the time. And that was one of the reasons why Cartier-Bresson took up photography and liked it, because it allowed him to, uh, to capture in an image uh, a surprising, unexpected configuration of elements of reality, um, which is not really something that painting or uh, drawing in the traditional way it is made um, can do. Uh, the meditative quality of drawing is something that uh, really attracted me to this medium and uh, uh, something that I sort of find uh, very, very important and really the essence of, of uh, making a drawing. Um, in the contrast to photography, drawing slows down time. It stretches it out, it draws it out, uh, it allows it to um, uh, inhabit it in a very, very different way. That, that time when we actually uh, are immersed in the activity of creating, of representing or being with. And making a drawing, for me, is really uh, more about being with what it is that I am drawing than trying to represent it. Uh, it's not an object. When I draw a plant, I enter into uh, a realm of a sort of connectedness and a relationship with the plant. I look at it, I look at its lines, the shape, um, the size, uh, different elements, and I transpose it in a very direct way with my hand, with my eyes, my mind, and my body onto, uh, onto paper. And it takes time. It takes time and that time is, uh, I think, essential to notice things and to process things and to inhabit things, to allow them to kind of enter our consciousness and find their way uh, within us. Uh, so when I draw, when I make an abstract drawing, I think uh, in the same way I'm being with a plant or a stone when I draw it, I am with myself. It's um, abstract drawing is a result of me um, being present with some kind of an energy, something that surfaces up on the on on uh, on a level that needs to or wants to be kind of transposed on a on a piece of paper, um, and uh, it, it is very very meditative. It is a way of being with uh, with myself in a very creative way and in a way that time um, is essential to to encapsulate that that process and to allow that process I make all my drawings are made in one session I never make start making a drawing and then leave it and then go back to it a day later or two days later it's like one drawing, one session, whether it's five minutes or ten minutes or or half an hour. Um, this uh, relationship between drawing and time, the slowing down time, this sort of meditative meditative quality, uh, is quite well expressed in relationship to looking at a drawing as well as making a drawing. Uh, by um, a friend of Michelangelo's, uh, Tommaso de Cavalieri, uh, who received two drawings uh, from Michelangelo as gifts. 
uh, in his letter of thanks for two such drawings, Cavalieri informed Michelangelo that he was spending at least two hours each day in contemplating them. Now, imagine in today's world spending two hours each day contemplating two drawings. That's what meditation is about and that's what drawing can be about.